Hey guys, me host Super Zorro. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Sunday, which means it's Super Zorro Sunday. Super Zorro Sunday! Super Zorro Sunday! Every single Sunday. <laughs> it is Super Zorro Sunday, which for those of you that aren't familiar, Super Zorro Sunday, Sunday is just a hangout day where I give some, some updates on the channel, talk to you guys for a little bit, open some blind bags, and do some community shout outs. It's that simple. It's a nice, easy Sunday morning hangout video. Well, afternoon hangout video. And today is no different. We've got some blind bags to do. We've got some shout outs. It's going to be a fun day. So let's let's jump into this Super Sorrel Sunday. What's your favorite scary movie? So we start every Super Sorrel Sunday the same way by opening a blind bag. So today I've got another one of these Looney Tunes Acme um, tower things, uh, 12 to collect. There's a bunch that are dressed up as uh, superheroes or Harry Potter characters. It's randomness. You guys know that I love the Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny ones. Uh, but we'll see what we can get. So let's open it up, guys, and see what's in today's blind bag. See if I can get into it. Because I can never get into these ones. <laughs> Snip. Here we go. Okay. Let's see who's inside. Oh, we got a Bugs Bunny. We got Super Bugs. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Super Bugs Bunny. <laughs> burp, burp. <laughs> Super, it's Bugs Bunny dressed as Superman. Very cool. I like that one. That's a very cool little blind bug. Uh, so let's have a look at what the other ones we can get. There is a bunch of them. Um, now, I already have Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny in their Harry Potter um, attire. But there is also uh, Sylvester and... Who else is in Harry Potter gear? Oh, Sylvester and Tweety are also available in their Harry Potter costumes. But you can also get Wile E. Coyote as Batman, Bugs Bunny as Superman, like we got today, and Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman, and Taz as The Flash. And there's also the Bugs Bunny in Superman Titanium outfit as a limited edition one. So there is a bunch there to collect. We've got about... How many of these have we got now? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six out of the 12, so we're about halfway there. Only problem is you can't find these anymore. Uh, here in the UK, I found these at Primark, which is a random little clothing store here in the UK. Um, it's not like it's a, a big, you know, shop or anything like that that normally gets toys in. It was around Christmas time and they had a bunch of them in at like £5 a piece. I'd never seen them before anywhere else. So I jumped on them at Christmas and I got a bunch that they had left because they only had like six or something left. So I grabbed all of them and I've been slowly opening them one by one since Christmas. Uh, but yeah, I'm, we're finally kind of run out of those now. I think that was the last one. I think I might have one more maybe. But uh, yeah, that that was one of the last ones. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish off that set, which is quite sad. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can find any online. <laughs> we do have a very busy week this week with live streams on the channel, which is going to be awesome. So there's two big announcements this week. We've got Imperial March, which is Hasbro. They're going to be announcing some stuff on the 20th, which is Tuesday, I believe. I'm saying these things, and I'm not looking at calendar. Yes, Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> so Wednesday, Hasbro will be announcing uh, something new. It's, Imp it's Ma uh, Imperial March, therefore they're doing the, like a dark side march. The picture that, that they threw up is of, uh, they've got Darth Vader on one side, Darth Maul on the other. Uh, so it might be a bunch of dark side additions to the Black Series and TVC and other stuff. So I'm excited to see what they announce with that. Um, so that is going to be on the 20th. So I've got a live stream going out at 6 p.m. on the 20th where I'm going to talk about the whatever's been announced, recap it all, and then give you my thoughts, opinions, and we'll have a discussion. And anyone that is in the members club, the super club, will be able to join me on screen should they want to. So Shelly, Mick, all you guys that have joined the super club so far you'll get to join me on screen and discuss the Black Series with me. 
Then on the 22nd, which is Friday, because ha because uh, Mattel Creations is doing Mattel Creations Revealed this week, which will be on the 21st and 22nd. It's a two-day event where they will announce lots of new things for Barbie, Hot Wheels, Monsters, uh, Monsters High, um, WWE, Masters of the Universe, all their lines, basically. I'm hoping there's some Jurassic announcements too, but they haven't mentioned that Jurassic Park's going to be a part of that. Um, but all the big brands are going to be there, and that is going to be on the 21st and 22nd all day long. So I'm going to go out live at 6 p.m. on the 20 uh, on the uh, the 22nd, which is Friday, 6 p.m. And again, we'll recap, talk about, and go through all the news of the last couple of days from Mattel. Talk about what I'm excited about, and once again, if you are a member of the Super Club, you can join me on screen and have a chat if you want. That would be absolutely awesome. So, like I say, you've got to be a Super Club member to be a part of that because that is one of the Super Club member perks. But it's the price of a cup of coffee. Please check out the uh, Super Club in the comments below, in the uh, down in the description below. So those are the live streams for this week. There is also my regular Super Sorrel Tuesday, which will be going out obviously on the nineteenth this Tuesday. <clears throat> and I'll be opening a bunch of blind bags in this week's video along with talking to you guys and all that good stuff It's gonna be a fun week. So that's three Live streams during the week and obviously Sundays I have the geek week in review with me and Jacob's toys So it's gonna be like I say a very packed week and plus I'm still making my regular videos So just because I'm going live doesn't mean I'm not making videos I'm still gonna be producing my regular two videos a day Whew, it's going to be a busy old week, but I'm excited for it. All right, it's time for a second blind bag. This time we're going to go for a Disney 100 Bops and Tops Series D100. There's 12 to collect. Uh, and they're all, it says 12 special edition characters, including silver and glittery versions. These are by Sambro, and there's lots of different char characters inside, including Spider-Man, as well as all the Disney good stuff. I'm, no, I'm not sure if, if Star Wars is included in this, but Spider-Man... Marvel are definitely included, so let's see which character we've got. I can't work out who that could be from feeling the bag, so let's have a go. Like I say, these are called Bops and Tops. Who have we got? Come on. He's stuck in the bag again. Ooh! We got a little glittery Simba. I'm gonna be a mighty king, so enemies beware. That's cool, is they're all see through and glittery. I like it. Kind of cool. We got these from B&M for a pound. So we got a bunch of them for a quid each. Not bad at all. And they are pencil toppers. So you can put them on a, on a pencil if you, you know, if for school or work or whatever you want to do. Or just keep them as little minis like I do. But either way, a lot of fun. I like it. I do want to take a moment this week just to talk about the members club. The super club. The super club is my new channel membership scheme. If you want to support this channel, because I've never been one of those creators that have asked for you know to join a Patreon or to donate and things like that. That's never been my MO. I've never been about that life. But the Super Club, now that I'm full time on YouTube, is a way that I can that you guys can support me and that I can give back to people that want to support me as well. So the Super Club is two ninety nine. It's the price of a cup of coffee, and basically on my live streams you'll get ac well, and on the channel you'll get access to um, special emojis that o that only people in the, uh, the the super club can use. You'll also get a loyalty badge uh, at the side of your name, so whenever you're commenting on my channel or in my live streams, people will see that you're a, a super club member. You also get member exclusive shout outs, exclusive member only videos, which I have uploaded two already, and I've got plenty more planned coming up this week. I'll be flooding the members videos very, very soon. But I do want to just say, I won't be doing any any big reviews that I would normally do on the main channel, you know, on, on, on the channel, sorry, they will still be there. Uh, I'm not going to put those behind a paywall or anything like that. That's not what I'm about. The members only stuff is extras, exclusives, and things that wouldn't come on the channel normally. So they're going to be fun videos uh, that I'll be producing quite regularly as well. I've got quite a lot of plans for the members only videos. Um, so you might want to check it out. Like I said, it's going to be a good, you know, catalog of videos, you know, it's all extra content, and if you're a fan of the channel, check it out. Like I say, two ninety nine. Like I say, I've already got two videos up. An exclusive toy hunt that gave additional uh, footage and, a, and an additional haul for the week that other people haven't seen. <clears throat> and also, 
I did a unboxing of a HMV blind bag, and you can you can check you can check that review out if you if you want. It's uh, it was a it was a wild ride. <laughs> but like I say, two ninety nine for price of a cup of coffee. It supports me. I can support you. And one of the best things is we're going to have members only live streams, and we're going to have exclusive giveaways for members as well. So that price of joining is going to get you a giveaway every single month. Check it out, guys. It's a great scheme. I'm looking forward to uh, really building the Super Club this, over this next year. Uh, just thank you to everyone that has joined it so far. Check out the Join button down below if you're interested in checking it out. Thanks, guys. Also this week, guys, I noticed if you head on over to smiths.co.uk, they have the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1991 movie stars available for pre-order. Uh, you can, well, not available for right now, but it will be very soon. But um, yeah, they they have the new Playmates Turtles. Uh, if you check it out, we've got movie star Mikey, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael from the uh, from the new movie. Now, we do know that they are also making, um, uh, they're making Shredder, Takar, and Razor as well. They're coming out very soon. Uh, but for now, we've just got the four Turtles listed on Smiths. And these are for $12.99 each. I don't think that's a bad price. Um, and these look really cool. I remember having these as a kid. Uh, I think these are the one that had that really weird skin feel to them. Uh, I definitely want to get the up updated version of these. These might be the turtles I get from my collection. That are like my uh, the, the ones that I play with all the time. Um, Smiths as well. Uh, they offer free standard delivery for anything over 20 quid. So if you're buying all four, you're going to get free delivery as well. Uh, they're currently showing as expected in stock between the 1st and 10th of April. I will keep you guys posted as soon as I have more information on this. I will update you, but as soon as the pre-order window opens for them and stuff like that, I'll let you know. I definitely will be trying to grab these from my local Smiths. Very excited about this, as I've been wanting these movie star turtles for quite some time, and these look awesome. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. It's time for my favourite part of the week. It's feedback. First comment today comes from XLR. I'm not sure how to pronounce that username, dude. But he says, do the Nedroid first. And dude, I did not know about the Five Nights at Freddy's Nedroid. That is so cool. I need to check that out. But yes, a lot of people are interested in SpongeBob. So I do imagine he'll be on the channel sooner rather than later. Shelly left us a comment this week as well saying about Poison Ivy. Saying, grab both. You only Sorry, grab, grab the pop. You only live once. Yes, I know I only live once, but I'm running out of room. Look at the stuff behind me. I'm running out of space. <laughs> I need to decide between that Funko exclusive one or the regular one. I can't decide which one. I think I'm going for the Funko exclusive. Uh, they're all from the Harley Quinn TV series, and they look absolutely awesome. I really need it in my collection, along with the new Harley and the Joker. So uh, stay tuned. I'll see what I can do. But Shelley, thank you for being a channel member as well. Appreciate you. A very kind comment here from Cameron. Dude, I hope you're having a wonderful week off work. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel and for watching my content. I really appreciate it. Honestly, thank you very much, man, for uh, spending some of your week off with us right here on the Super Soul channel. Appreciate it. And John Doe right here with the hashtag Catchup Crew. For those of you that don't know, use the hashtag Catchup Crew whenever you've missed a live stream and you're watching it back. Because if you put that in the comments, it lets us know that you've enjoyed the live stream and you're watching it after, we, after we've gone live. Because I'm not sure how many people actually enjoy watching the live streams after they've gone live, like on demand. Is it worth keeping them on the channel? <clears throat> so should you miss them, you can watch them back like this. Let us know by using the hashtag CatchUpCrew when you're catching up on any of the missed live streams. And the final comment of the week is coming from Mike with a simple hashtag Yeet. For those of you that don't know, Yeet is the one thing I do say on all my videos every time I get rid of a box because I'm an out-of-box collector. Fist pump it, the box into the air and shout the words Yeet. <laughs> I'm very much thinking about having uh, some t-shirts printed with the hashtag Yeet with the Soup Sorrow logo on the on the t-shirts. So stay tuned. You guys have been asking for merch. It's coming real soon. I've put in a lot of thought into it this year. So yeah, hashtag Yeet merch is probably going to be coming sooner rather than later. Stay tuned. And thank you very much for the kind comment, dude. Thank you to everyone that commented this week. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to be picked for next week's video, let us know in the comments down below and you just may get showered out in next week's Super Sorrel Sunday. 
This week, I do just want to give a shout out to our good friends over at propsandreplicas.co.uk. They're a great UK independent toy company. Check them out. And they have the Street Sharks up for pre-order right now. You can grab the whole wave for $84.95 with free delivery, or you can grab them individually at $28.95. They offer full or partial payment right now. It's a great way to get them. So check out propsandreplicas.co.uk. They come super sorrel recommended. They don't pay me to say this. I just want to give them a shout out because I use them all the time for my toys. And that's where I buy most of my stuff these days. So check them out. Right, guys, if we are right, inside this box should be the Bear With Me Zombie. If we've got the numbers right. <laughs> you know me, I'm not very good with the numbers stuff. So hopefully I've done it right and I've got the code and I've got the correct code and I've got the one I need. If not, I've got a duplicate and I'm going to cry. So this could be a fun little opening. So let's find out if I got the right one or the wrong one. Here we go. Let's open it up. Guy is scared. <laughs> Everyone always shouts at me on tick on Instagram and TikTok saying, "Just use the codes." I'm like, I'm no good with codes. I'll still mess it up. It took me, Mrs. Superstar, and Superstar Junior ages to work out uh, what codes we had and what codes we needed. But we're now down to one. I just need one more figure, which is from the uh, Friends Forever series. So once we've got that, hopefully we should have all of them. Right, I think we're onto the right track. I think this could be the right one. Um, I'm kind, I'm kind of excited now. Okay, here we go. Let's. If this is, if this is the bear with me one, I'll be so happy. If it's not, I'm just gonna cry because I can't work out codes. Here we go. Yeah, overbearing. Thank God for that. So this this line, this one, the, the wild vibes is now officially done. I have all of them. I'm missing one now from the Friends Forever series, and it's the Chase one. So let's open this little zombies dollop and get her on the shelf because we've got the whole collection behind me. I do need to make a video because I did I did actually record a video, uh, two videos in fact with Super Sorrel Jr. opening the second lot of Wild Vibes and opening all of the Friends Forever series. However, she kind of messed up my video. She was kind of a bit of a naughty baby and kind of, yeah, so I had to delete the videos. I couldn't use them. She was a bit of a naughty baby. And uh, so I need to do an update video showing you what I've done with the collection because I do actually really like what I've done with the series behind me. I've made a really cool display. So I do want to show that off. So video coming soon. Does she not come with a little bear or anything? <laughs> Have I missed an accessory somewhere? Is it still in here? Nope. Should I come with a little bear or something? Hmm. I thought she would have come with like a little bear accessory. Oh, there it is. Wait, it? it was trapped inside the hat. Thank God for that. I thought somebody had been inside my... I thought someone had been inside of it and robbed me then. I got upset. She does have her uh, little things put on, so let's go ahead and slide that on. That's her like hoodie wrapped around her waist. So let me slide that up. Like I say, I, say, I always say this on, the, on all the other videos, these are awkward as hell to put on because it's rubber on rubber and they never want to go on. Oh, the head is gone now. Come on, slidey, slidey, slidey. Come on, there we go. A bit more, there we go. We're on. Just saw the back out, there we go. Okay, so we got the hoodie wrapped around the waist. Put the hairpiece back on. Oh yeah, all the hair pieces come off so you can reveal the brain underneath. But also, all the dolls are uh, customizable. So basically, you can take the hair off one doll and put it on another, or the costume, or whatever you want to do. You can kind of customize them to like your spec. Which I kind of like that. It kind of gives you a bit of a, you know, customization ability on them. And then we just got to put the little hat on. And there she is. So that is the zombie for overbearing. Finally completed the set. Let's put the little play stand together. Yeah. Pop her on the stand. 
you have to get it just around the waist like that and then we're good to go there we are and like i say she does have the little bear that hugs her so we can put that bear around her i don't know around her neck around her waist i don't know where you want to put it but um i don't tend to display them with the little creatures so that creature will go probably in the in the box with all the rest of the little characters but let let me take you over to the zombie stand and we'll find a place to put it let's go so this is how the displays come together since we were since i last showed you guys an update on these zombies i don't know where to put the new one i might have to put her up top on that other on the yeah she's probably gonna have to go over here um so let's slide this one across so they're the same sort of doll as well they're both like adventurers one's a campo one's a jungle safari one yeah there we go she can sit up there with her awesome we are almost complete we just need one more who would have thought when i found these zombies in hmv about what six months ago no three months ago who would have ever thought that I would have com completed both series? <laughs> well, guys, that is it for another Super Sorrel Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and had a lot of fun with me. I had a lot of fun today. We had some uh, with some great toy news there, some, some pre-order news and shout-outs and all that good stuff. If you do enjoy the Super Sorrel Sunday videos, guys, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye!